Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. Tonight is Ambassador Lancelot Odua in Maswen. Ambassador Lancelot Odua in Maswen is one of Nigeria's biggest uh, filmmakers. He's a director, he's a screenwriter, he's also a producer. He was born on July 21, 1971, and that makes him 71 years old. He's from Benin City, the capital of Edo State. Among his popular works are Invasion, Bent Arrow, Games Men Play, ATM, Private Scene, Enslaved, Moment of Truth, The Last Burial, you know, to mention but uh, a few. Our guest was born on July 21, 1971, and that makes him 49 years old. Yes. All right. So, now, first, I need you to tell us again, what got you interested in filmmaking? Wow. Well, um, I, I've only, always wanted to uh, tell a story. Yeah. Um, I've always been very conscious artistically and be very conscious of my environment. And uh, in all honesty, uh, I saw because of the reach, because of the reach, we started off from stage, uh, street theater, and what of you. But I cannot, you can't be the reach of uh, the, the motion picture where you can get to. Uh, you you sit where you are, tell a story, and that story can permeate um, uh, countries, go into um, other continents of the world. And uh, I'm happy to be counted as one of those that has raised the bar as far as uh, the African storytelling project is concerned. Uh, hmm. And before... We, we, we are just there. Our stories are being told uh, 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 to us by those uh, that, that have not had the kind of experience that we have. So I saw very early in my life and career that uh, Nollywood uh, was um, uh, an opportunity for me as a black person because I've been very conscious of the blackism movement. And, that, uh, and I feel that the, 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 the Western world has not been fair to us in the reportage of Africa and Africans. All they see here uh, is wars, pestilence, uh, violence, um, electoral malpractices, bad government, and what, what have you, uh, dirtiness, and, and where, where, what, what I can name. But Nollywood provided me and my lives um, an opportunity to tell our stories by ourselves about ourselves and for the world to actually know who we are and uh, how we live as a people all right so how, how did you get involved with nollywood how did it start yeah like i, I said before um i i i was i i, I have always been an artist uh, of um, I've, I've transversed almost every other area of the art, uh, radio, uh, television, um, stage, street, dance, um, drumming, whatever. But for me, that lonely day uh, in the year 1995, a student of mine where I was teaching, acting and directing and dance came and uh, frighteningly asked me if I if I don't mind 
that uh, he has a friend who wants to make a film, but uh, it's an Igbo language movie. Can I be able to direct an Igbo language film? I, the first word I left, I said, why not? Uh, um, that was when I came out with this phrase that when you say love in Edo language, it's the same way your face will be when you say it in English. When you say <laughs> I love you in Igbo language, it's the same way your face will be when you are saying it in Yoruba language or in Hausa language. So, as far as I was concerned, language isn't a barrier as far as communication is concerned. We use these expressions, uh, uh, gesticulations to further whatever it is that we are saying. So, I didn't see that as a barrier. I immediately grabbed that opportunity and that established me in the year 1995, uh, July, August, where I made my first film as a Nollywood filmmaker. So, from then to now, it's been 25 unstoppable years for me as a practitioner that even right now this year I've, I've i've been on set over six times making different movies and right now as you can see uh free advert for me is <laughs> Bege. Bege. i'm Bege. planning Bege is the title of my uh, next blockbuster film uh starring um all some of the very best that uh, Nigeria can boast about as far as acting is concerned. And uh, Bege is giving me an opportunity to reunite with the Sakaba warlord, Sam Dedi. After we made that blockbuster, this is, uh, yeah, exactly. almost the first time we are coming together to work again. Yeah. I love that. Now, the first movie you talked about, tell us the title. Adaku. Adaku, Adaku. the Twisted Fate. Yes, it was an Igbo language movie. And that really blew people up. I said, eh? Are you Igbo? I said, no, I'm from Benin. He said, how are you? And even the artist that I had, wow. I had, I had the privilege of a Sam Loco on that set, late, may so rest, continue to rest in peace. I had uh, Chiwe Taluagu, I had Amechi Monago. They were all on that set. And they were all like, who is this? Who is this whiskey? Who is this whiskey? <laughs> I reminded, I was barely, I was barely 24 years old that time. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this guy? And a lot of them predicted what we now saw later. That guy, if you continue like this, you are going to do a lot of uh, go a lot of uh, go long wow. in this industry. And I feel I know that they all feel proud what uh, Lancelot to do. I must became from that um, uh, lonely part, that journey when he started there. So Adaku uh, was my icebreaker. Yeah. All right, I, I, I like that. Now, like you said earlier, you've been into the business now for about twenty-five years. What would you say has kept you going? I mean, some people would have also started at about the same time, but are no longer here. But you are still here, doing well, keeping strong and stuff. What has kept you going? First and foremost, my 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 unflinching faith in God. Mm. I have I have always maintained that it has only been God. Mm. I did a song to that effect. What when, when when I look back uh, to where I am coming from and the much that God has done, I cannot help but to say to God be the glory. So first wow. of all, I think God Almighty has made it possible because God seeth the heart, the heart of kings are in his hands. He seeth the heart. So I was very passionate about this. I wanted to be a lawyer. I had to be very frank with you. I, I wish I, I, I wish I, I only wish to be a lawyer. And uh, I was a pure art student. I wanted to be a lawyer. That was it. But when I found myself doing this, I, I just said, okay, fine. This is what he has only wanted me to do. And let me tell you something, Azul. We have known almost from that time. I knew you 1996. <laughs> oh my God. It's okay. 1996 when I shot my second film uh, yeah. in the year 2000. I, I can remember no, you are a great guy. You are a great guy. I was supposed to say that. You guys gave shape to celebrating us uh, when uh, nobody ordinarily then we write about uh, uh, artists, which is still what we suffer today. Uh, okay, all those artists. Now you guys started giving us, and I want to pay to, those, uh, to your boss, to your boss. Uh, uh, Oga uh, Johnson, uh, Johnson, that gave you guys that 
and uh, 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 Johnson, uh, the the fame, fame, the fame, fame. <laughs> then, uh, not forgetting the uh, Afolabi. I don't know whether you are seeing talking to Afolabi. Yeah, the, the man. Afolabi, they me. Are they me? Oh my God. That <laughs> man, I don't think the man that handed over to you in fame yeah. and uh, all that. Yeah. See, yeah. God has been God. For me, God has been God. All I have yeah. done, all I have achieved, all I have, all I have the sustenance, uh, because at the time I was called uh, Nollywood most consistent, Nollywood most consistent filmmaker. For 25 yeah. years, as you, yeah. there is no year that rode by without at least two or three movies to my credit. For 25 years, that's true. <laughs> so it has, it, has, it, has, it, has been, it has been God. Yeah, yeah. it has been God. And uh -oh. let me also pay tribute to right. my humble self. My humble self. I like uh, Socrates said, man, know thyself. I understood from the day one that okay, this this is my calling, this is what I wanted to do. And I gave my all. As you listen, I gave my all. I was never in a hurry. Sometimes it is good, sometimes it's not good. We have kept faith with what so true. consistency also matters in life. So I want to say God stood in there for me. God has been there for me. And I also did not disappoint myself or disappoint my family or disappoint humanity. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you to have a taste of success in filmmaking. What must one do? <laughs> I'll be very direct with this. Number one, where is your source of strength? For me, I drew my source of strength from God Almighty, clearly, from the day one. I want to yeah. offend, if I'm not mistaken, that there was no set that I ever got into without committing it to the hands of God. That I was used wow. to laugh. That, uh, that captured the attention of CNN when I had my second appearance on CNN. The first being uh, 2009, during uh, there, there was this program they called um, 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 uh, Screening Room, CNN Screening Room. I don't know where I still remember yeah. that program. Uh, on, 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 arguably, I think we were, I remember one of the first Nollywood person or African filmmaker to be so featured that time on CNN, 1999, 2009, yeah. on CNN Screening Room. And 2012, when I was filming, um, another another one. Um, 2007 was the first time they came to shoot. They saw me praying, <laughs> and, I like that. and that really attracted. You know these white people say, "What are you doing? Are you praying on the camera?" I said, "Yes." He said, "Why?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He said, "Why?" I said, "Because that's where I draw my strength from." So for me, first to succeed in anything. To, 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 to succeed anything in life, you need God. You need God first. Wow. You need God second. You need God third. You need God all three. That's number one. Number two, mm -hmm. I tell, I do motivational speaking these days. I just finished one. I did in, uh, as part of my 25 years celebration. I have been doing master classes. I did one in Abuja. I saw Adaku. Uh, she was there. It was quite successful. And I did one in the Bini last week. That was huge. The turnout was massive. Our filmmaking uh, uh, masterclass, and I said, and I'm hoping that uh, Yes Magazine will be able to organize something as part of this by 25 years celebration for a no masterclass problem. to actually speak to young people. The no number problem. one thing is understanding the three, what I call the three CS, the three CS, yeah. character, unique character. Yeah. You need contact. Okay. Then you need content. <laughs> I love that. Any filmmaker, anybody that wants to succeed, you need these three things. You wow. need character. You need contacts. Then you need content. content. Wow. And they have it. a way of connecting with mm. each other. One is that when you have the right character, and let me tell you, your contact also contributes so much. Your mm. content, your, your, your character 
or the contact you have contribute so much to your character. Mm. The kind of person mm -hmm. you associate with, the kind of person you mingle with, the kind of person you spend your time with, will determine the amount of, of, of reformation or deformation mm. that can come upon your character. So wow. your contact can, 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 can reform you and your contact can degenerate you. Wow. When you will not have the right character, then your content will be appealing. And get this, once your content is good enough, you are going to attract more, mm. more contact to yourself. So this keeps you on in any business. Who were the mm. kind of person we were, we were connecting with when we started? The Azua Rinses. The, the, those <laughs> free magazines, the, the, the great guys in the industry, the kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys didn't know those interviews. You know what it means. A lot of people were interviewed first by you, by a lot of your colleagues. So, so you see, and once you begin to get that responsibility, you see yourself being interviewed. Then you begin to pinch yourself. Who am I? Say, I'm a filmmaker. So the, 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 the tendency, the tendency not to fail is being built. Mm. The characteristics of succeeding, it begin to be imbibed into you. So this helps. Mm. And lastly, I put what I call, I tell my young person that I speak with today, I run a school in Benin called the Benin Film Academy. And one of the uh, things I put into them is be determined not Desperate. Mm. <laughs> I like that. I be like determined that. and not, not desperate. be desperate. Mm. What we find these days, people are desperate for fame. Azu, I can't, there is no state in Nigeria I've entered. I'm a man behind the camera. I'm surprised that when I'm walking along, people will come to me so, oh, Mr. Lasso, Mr. Lasso, I'll give you this. Someday, myself <laughs> and uh, Desmond Elliot, who were in, who were in El Saba. He was driving, went to film in El Saba. I was, oh, oh, Desmond, that was natural. When people call Desmond on the street, that is natural. When they call uh, uh, Iniedo, that is natural. When they run after something, that is natural. But when people say, hey, is this not last <laughs> lot? Is this not last lot? <laughs> Desmond will look at me and say, hey, Oga, are you the, are you the star here? Or <laughs> not me? <laughs> so, I like that. Desper desperation 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 really doesn't take you to your destination wow, uh, wow. Uh, um, destination desperation will just um, uh, dissipate you you know I like putting in so much energy you want to do things that uh, um, uh, that, that 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 you shouldn't do just to get All noticed right. guys All right. when nollywood was being formed those names you hear today were just doing what they were doing the directors that were sustained the 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 the, the, the artists we celebrate today they were not doing what they were doing there was no there was no desperation from them and suddenly guy things were just falling into shape falling into shape so for the youth to for you to become a qualified seasoned and celebrated filmmaker you need character you need good contacts who who is your model your role model who are your sponsors these are things you can determine do you have the character that can attract good sponsorship mm. you just find and uh, a, 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 a child coming to a place, blah, 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 blah. you find someone that can't come when they ask question after a class. You know, this one has he has an idea of where he's going to. You say, Come, how can I be of help to you? That is it. Everything as that people fight, he deserves to get. There are others that get them just naturally. Yes, now, what would you say is the costless mistake? That any filmmaker can make. Wow, it, 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 I think it's not having a clear direction of okay. who who you are, 
what you want to achieve with any particular content you want to turn out. Mm. Listen, who you are, your capacity, your knowledge of your limitation, because without having good knowledge of your limitation, you can do that that will attract attention. And that will be mm. costly for you. Wow. Getting, well, at the end of the day, everybody has a dream. You want to, you, you, you don't just want to be floating. You want to get to a certain mark, but you need to understand. You don't just set out on a journey without knowing what you want to achieve at the end of the day. Mm. This can be costly. And you also jump into a project without estimating, putting into consideration how you want to end it, how you want to achieve what you need to achieve. That that's it for me. I love I love that. I love that. Yeah, so what, what do you like most about being a filmmaker? Uh, <laughs> I love that question. Um, the fact that I can conceive a story. Mm. The fact that I can conjure your emotions. The fact that I can conceive a story, produce this work, and somebody is far away in South Africa laughing, crying. I, I, I get moved when people stop me, so I saw this film. I'm just coming from uh, uh, the police headquarters in, in, in Edo State, in Benin City. And uh, unless they saw me, they started discussing. But they were saying something like that. No, they just, they just, they are trying to, the, 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 the Oba, they're trying to get some, some uh, vigilante. I said, it's like they did that thing they did in that film. That film, uh, Isakaba. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. so, it, it, oh, so you, you, you can you can imagine you can imagine that we sat back made that film called Isakaba, and it became it became some sort of an an, an anthem that uh, small kids when you want to hit there they said of oh, the so. You were yes. you don't, some some places you get to they don't know that you were the brain behind such such creation and you see the excitement and greed and the other so it gives you this sense of fulfillment. Mm. You look at films like like on bended knees, a gospel film. I made a film called Open Heavens. Mm. Somebody called me all the way from Austria to say I watched this film. And I was so moved. I'm a mm. woman that we have been married for 11 years without a child. I watched that film and I went to church. I went to hold the screen. As well as I'm telling a true life story. I went to touch the screen. Mm. And months after, I got pregnant. A wow. Film. Wow. So, the, the kind of the kind mm. of the, Fulfillment you get from mm. I just sat somewhere and I and I conceived a story mm. and I took my time out to look for people that will match each characters and people take it they know it's a film but they take it beyond that point oh there's no greater joy you can take <laughs> then also having the opportunity to reshape the society mm. um, um, uh, reshaping the society. Uh, honestly, you you feel, you feel uncomfortable about a certain uh, event in the society, and you want to document it, like the movie Invasion 1897, which is one of my greatest films as a producer director. I, from a, from childhood, I read Ovaram and Ogbai C by Olaru Me. I read um, Trials yes. Trials. Trials above of of above of, 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 by uh, Ahmed Yerima. I read quite a lot, but I felt 
as a Billy man that came from this tribe, that whenever you Google events in Benin, 1897, all you find are always negative about us. Uh, the Benin uh, punitive expedition, the Benin massacre. But I said, okay, I'm a filmmaker and I come from this clan. I want to be able to tell the story from unapologetically from my point of view. <laughs> <laughs> and I made Invasion 1897. <laughs> my brother, the narrative changed. So whenever you Google now, event of the <laughs> United, no, we were invaded by the British. We yes. did not want to look for their trouble. They came to look for our own trouble. <laughs> and that narrative is there. <laughs> and I can assure you that the movie screams all over the world. It was oh, among the yeah. best Nigerian films on Netflix. He screened inside the British Museum. He screened at the, the Smithsonian Institute. He screened in several, several places in the world where I had the, I had the capacity to tell our own story. There's nothing that gives you as much satisfaction as that. I love that. I love that. Yes, you have told us what you like about being a filmmaker. Now tell us, what don't you like about being a filmmaker? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know, when you are asking questions from a seasoned journalist, you have to be careful. Honestly, can I, can I? People don't know. People don't know. And this, this works for us all as well. And that is, people forget that you are a human being. <laughs> Did you hear that? People forget I mean, that, yes. that you are a human being. People want you to be happy all the time. Whenever they run into <laughs> you, they don't care about your emotion. <laughs> they don't care about your state of mind. Ah, Mr. Lanslot! Oh, why did you why did you kill that gay? <laughs> why did you kill that gay? Why did you allow that gay to die? That gay that was just you see, you know, it's a film we're trying to tell a story. Oh, that girl was too beautiful to die. So <laughs> this, ah, you are not surprised that people take this thing. I pity our artists sometimes. You just finish playing, and people think, why should people play that role? You took it. I know that Azul is more very sad, he's a father. We really, we are still operating far below our capacity okay. as filmmakers operating in Nigeria. Wow, wow. Far. Wow. All right. Uh, all right. Are you through with that question? No, 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 no. I want to explain something. All the right, fact that filmmakers in Nigeria cannot have access to facilities that will uh, 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 further enhance the a better realistic presentation of your film is something that gives me a lot of sadness. You want to use the airport, the wala that is involved, you want to use police facilities, the wala that is involved. You want to use prisons, the wala that is involved. After these several years of practice in Nigeria, you should expect mm. that some of these things are all of these major organizations in Nigeria police, army, uh, the airport uh, they should have a department or their their, 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 their uh, public relations department should be able to deal. It shouldn't be a big deal having police facilities to fame. Should it be a big deal having to shoot with custom uh, facilities, uniforms, and all of that? Should it be a big deal uh, demanding for helicopter to, to film in Nigeria? But these are still problems that is limiting our productivity as filmmakers. Mm -hmm. This makes me Wow. Yes. Now, what would you say has been the greatest thing that being a filmmaker has done for you? Well, again, let me go... Let me take you to the Bible. The Bible says, show me a man that is diligent in his works. He will sit with kings and die with princes. I can tell you for free that the, the, the business of filmmaking has done so much for me in terms of the personalities that um, I have been able to meet, the appreciation that has followed my humble I cannot like I don't lie to you. When we started this, we just felt make mass, see, food chop. But we didn't know that it was going to 
get to the there are certain awards certain awards that remain nostalgic to me as a filmmaker when i was called to be honored by the oba of benin <laughs> that uh, that was emotional to me when i i got the 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 african media personality award in canada and i was handed over a letter i'm looking at it right now in my office in Benin, uh, signed by uh, uh, harper the prime minister then of of canada uh, i i was i was humbled i will not also forget when my university University of Port Harcourt, found me worthy to be honored. And that award was presented by President uh, Goodluck Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> these, these, these are some memories. And let me be very, very honest with you, even as a man behind the camera, the business of filmmaking has brought me uh, in contact with the rulers of the land with deep appreciation. I remember uh, going to visit a very prominent politician here in Benin and uh, I just drove in and I went to him and he was he said, where are your policemen? Where I said, which policemen? He said, no, a, a man of your status anywhere in the world, you should have routine of, uh, of security. I said, no, 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 I don't, I don't do that. But when I left, I, I actually appreciated the way he felt one had become, doing just what I love doing. And uh, honestly, uh, the film industry in Nigeria has been gracious, all glory to God, has done well for all of us, all of us. It, it has, uh, yes, we, sometimes we say, oh, if we were, if, if I've practiced filmmaking tw for 25 years and the number of films I've made to my credit, if I was somewhere, maybe by now, I would have, uh, I would own several private jets. That's not it. Beyond that, uh, the, the, the Nigerian film industry, has done great for me as an individual, uh, elevated my status in the society. And uh, there's no way you just walk into where you are seen as just some man. No, you are giving uh, uh, appropriate regard for what God has made of you being a member of the Nigerian film industry. Yeah.